Secondly, I'd like to acknowledge the fantastic result yesterday in, in Galway City Council, where councillors voted 17-1 in favour of a temporary cycle lane in Salt Hill a couple of weeks ago. It was looking like it, it, that, that vote would be lost. And I think this goes to the, the heart of some of the problems that we have in our councils across the country. It's not only to do with the councillors, but it's to do with the fact that we do have um, executives really with a, with a long list for councillors to go through of reasons why something might not work. Funding was one, um, and I got the Minister, for, the minister um, for Transport on the record as saying there's no issue around funding. The, the next excuse will be something else. Uh, oh, what do we do with, with the cars? You, you get that excuse uh, ticked off and then it moves on and on and on. And I think the same can be said for other projects, not just transport. That has to be addressed. The councillors are um, representative of the people. I was on a, a cycling um, a, a, a cycle um, trip on Sunday and two weeks previously, and there was over 200 last Sunday, lashing rain. It means the people have spoken, and they've spoken through their councillors, and they've spoken through us as their representatives. And it does mean that with funding there, with legislation now being brought forward by the Minister for Transport, it is time for those who are unelected to, to do what we are asking them to do and what we are voting to do on our councils, and that is to produce the kind of transport that people want that is healthier and that is better for our climate. Thanks.